Okay, I'm gonna call the meeting to order. Uh, let's see who I have on here. I got Alex, I got the faculty reporter, Linda, yes. Officer Belvin, Laura, and Ron. Yes. Willie Goods, Chapenda. All right, so I'm gonna call the meeting to order. Uh, our guest speaker just contacted us and uh, he's not gonna be able to make the meeting after he, he told me today he was gonna be on. But So I'll, I'll open the meeting, I'll ex accept a, a motion to approve the minutes of September 22nd. I need a motion. A motion. Second. Do we have a second? Do I have a second for that? Yeah, I make a second. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to the police report. Officer Malcolm, you're on. Good evening, everyone. I'm Officer Belvin, uh, like Gary has said. And um, for the police report, we, I know the Community Relations Bureau, we've been personally going to all of the Franklin elementary schools and middle schools are giving them safety tips. October can be a very busy month with a lot of events. Um, however, we need to refresh the youth and let them know good safety tips that they can use, um, you know, not only in school, but in life. And we've been addressing um, just numerous safety tips, asking questions, answering questions, clarifying things with our youth. Um, for our future, uh, we have, we have our trunk or treat. It's 12 p.m. We're going to be doing that this weekend, Saturday, but I think it's going to rain. Uh, so I believe we're going to move it to Sunday. Um, Sunday will be the same time. It will be in Neyman Williams Park and also confectionally yours. That's down Route 27 if anybody doesn't know where that location is. Um, my coworker, Officer Russo, he will actually be bringing out his motorcycle. And uh, since I know you guys probably haven't seen a Franklin PD motorcycle in a while. Um, so Officer Russo is recently trained and he's gonna be actually showing off his police motorcycle soon. And uh, also we will be having a clothing drive November 13th. You guys wanna mark that in your calendar. Uh, the clothing drive will be at 935 Hamilton Street. Uh, it will be at our community relations building and that'll be at 12 p.m. Uh, and I believe if I wanna get ahead of myself a little bit, we're having a tree lighting and that will be in December. So what was it, December 3rd? December 3rd, that'll be the tree lighting that we, we, we will be participating in. But that's pretty much for uh, the police report. If anybody have any questions, feel free ask me at this time do we have any do we have any questions of the of the officer please i don't have any okay linda go ahead you have a question linda no i do not so wait a minute i do um how many motorcycles are going to be in circulation so we will only have one motorcycle and uh officer russo will be attending confectionally yours first and then he will stop by at Neyman Williams Park, possibly depending on the road conditions. Uh, we only have one police motorcycle as of right now. In the future, we are looking to possibly have at least two motorcycles. And uh, we will be only having Franklin, but sometimes we do attend events, funerals in other counties and uh, things of that nature. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? Okay, um, as, as I said, I, I had a guest speaker tonight. He was supposed to talk about uh, the the Wally community. Um, Alex, um, did you ever talk to this guy with the interfaith or not? With the Wally? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Did I talk um, to what? 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, we have the Diwali, right. So we are actually, I am in communication with uh, Councilman Ram to see if uh, there is anything that Interfaith and, and uh, you know, the HRC can do. Uh, there is going to be a, a lightning event. Uh, and, uh, you know, definitely, um, you know, I will, unless something major happens that I can attend, I will attend uh, that event and uh, we will send out the note uh, to the, uh, to our members and our community uh, by announcing that lightning event for the Diwali. And so that's the extent that, um, you know, we will be engaged. And so I'm waiting to hear from, uh, Ram or whoever is coordinating the Diwali event and the lighting event so we can participate uh, appropriately. Gary? Excuse me, Gary? Can you hear me, Gary? I can hear you now, Linda, go ahead. Okay, I have Johnny Tibbs listening in. You have Johnny Tibbs listening in. Yes, okay. Johnny. Okay. Thank, thanks, Rob. Johnny, can okay. you hear them? Yes, maybe I can. Okay. Okay. Thanks, thanks Linda. Welcome. Very good. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened to our uh, students. Uh, Councilman Ram was supposed to be on a little late, so. I, I I have a report from the youth center, which I got from Kimberly, and uh, this is what she said. We are planning for the grand opening since it's getting late in the year. We are waiting until after a Thursday for our temporary certificate of occupancy to determine a grand opening date. We are incorporating tours and activities into the grand opening festivities. We have received our first a furniture shipment and our next furniture delivery is scheduled for November 5th. There is some a minor work schedule uh, and they are still waiting for this temporary certificate of occupancy. Once they receive that, she will contact us and then I'll contact the HRC so we can take a complete review of the facilities, which will hopefully happen within the next 30 days. So that's the story on the youth center. Alex, while I had you, um, I understand that the a Moderna has now been okay. Has the township, uh, are they going to offer any? So, Gary, as you know, every, every pretty much every week we have been offering uh, COVID testing and also uh, several uh, of the, uh, the weekend weekends that, you know, during the last couple of months, we've been offering the vaccination also. Uh, okay. Pretty soon, I think we're going to be, uh, uh, you know, the, the boosters will be offered as well. And okay. uh, as I understand, tomorrow, Thursday, mayor is going to be talking about it during his uh, uh, his uh, weekly uh, uh, meeting. And okay. uh, rest assured that uh, the booster is coming to our town. Okay. And it's going to be offered uh, widely. That has been one of the things that... Uh, uh, I know our mayor has uh, a special interest and all of us have a special interest. Uh, you know, we have uh, seen a tremendous support from our township manager, our uh, Dr. Ravali from uh, uh, superintendent of the schools who has provided uh, the school facility for testing and vaccination. And okay. it has been an amazing uh, collaboration between various uh, uh, members of our community to make uh, this happen and offer the services. So uh, again, I'm, I'm uh, expecting soon 
uh, you will see or you will hear announcements about uh, the uh, uh, booster shots. Okay, good. Uh, because um, we had, uh, we had, because evidently what's happening now is the, is the health department of Franklin Township is, is now in, in Somerset County. And for some reason, that's under the Somerset County prosecutor's office. They're handling the health department and uh, they came to our uh, community and gave the uh, Pfizer booster shot, but they, they were holding off on the Moderna until it gets okay. I understand no. that it's been recommended, but has, I don't know if it's actually been okay yet. So Gary, for your information, and again, this is something that we can uh, uh, ask maybe the mayor tomorrow. He is a doctor, okay. he knows the best, but my understanding is that you can uh, mix and match, meaning that if somebody had Moderna, it's uh -huh. okay to have the booster of Pfizer. So okay. whichever is available, or if somebody had Pfizer and the Moderna is available, they can take that. So it's ex in, uh, interchangeable, let's put it this way. Okay. Uh, but again, we can get that confirmation from uh, a mayor tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so, great. So, so Are there any I, questions I, with sir, that? I, I Gary, this is Ron. Uh, just, just wanted to okay. add that uh, booster, both for Moderna and Pfizer, are provided by the pharmacies in our township. CVS, Rite Aid. Correct. Uh, okay. Yes, we can. Okay, yeah. thank you. I just have one today. Yeah, they they are offered, and in fact, uh, they may be lined sometimes. But uh, you know, if if uh, uh, if somebody wants to wait, and you know, just to have it in our school, uh, I'm sure pretty soon you're going to see that is offered in our. Uh, uh, on, on during the weekend, but but Ron, you are absolutely right. The pharmacies are offering that. So anybody is uh, yeah, willing to go and get it, yeah. they can go and do it. Okay, thank you. CVS today, um, and got an appointment. I'm okay. CVS today, um, and got an appointment. Sorry, John is talking. Go ahead, John. I can't hardly hear you. Okay, I went to CVS on Livingston Avenue today and got a, an appointment for November the 5th for Moderna booster shot. Okay, good. Right. Okay, um, the next, uh, Linda and Edna, have you had a chance to talk to uh, Johnny about his conversation with the township on the, even mm -hmm. though, uh, even though uh, the pool season is now over, uh, you were going to report after speaking to John. Did you have a chance? To no, we didn't him? get a chance to speak with him yet about it, but it's still, it's still in the works. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, I, uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything else because I was waiting for the, uh, for this guest speaker to talk about uh, the Wally, but he, uh, he indicated to Chef Hendu. And then he had that that he couldn't get on, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, does anyone else have anything else? Uh, we do not have an HRC meeting in November because of Thanksgiving. Our next an HRC meeting, which is the last one of the year, it is on a December eighth. That's our last HRC meeting. And hopefully at the beginning of the year, hopefully after that, uh, we can start going back to the council and have our meetings in person starting with the beginning of the year. I'm hopeful on that. So let's hope uh, our last meeting will probably still be on Zoom or WebEx, but uh, hopefully in January, we will be back in the township. Uh, uh, does anyone have anything else? Johnny, you uh, you have anything? I can't hear me. All right. If if we don't have anything else, then uh, 
I'm going to ask for a. Excuse me, Gary. Um, Johnny says he has something to say. All right. Go, Go ahead, ahead, Johnny. Go ahead. Now, you know that is election coming up in November the 2nd. Right. And I would like for everybody to understand that there is a suppressionary type of attitude that's going on in terms of all the black vote in the minority neighborhoods. It's trying to be suppressed with all the different restrictions and this and that and that and, the, and, and, and you know, all different types of things. It is a suppressive movement going on. So I would like to tell everybody that get to the polls. I don't care if they have to crawl, call Johnny Tibbs up. And I'll come and pick you up and carry you there. Okay. This is a present movement that's been going on in the township for the for the vote, for the, especially the minority vote. I'm okay. aware of it, and I'm going to be working hard, and I hope for you guys to assist me. Okay, Johnny, that's very important. You can. Uh, there is still uh, until uh, a Sunday, I believe. You can, if you if you have time, you can. Saturday morning. A vote early. If you want to vote before election day, you can at the a senior center. Yes. As early voting. After that, you have to do what you always do. Okay. If there's a, nothing else, I will accept a, a motion to adjourn. Um, Councilman Rom, you're on now. Can you hear me, Councilman? Yeah, we can hear you, Gary. Okay. Um, our speaker uh, told us that he couldn't uh, make it after he told me that he was going to. Do you have anything else to report on this uh, Diwali? Because he was supposed to make a presentation, but he, he, he called at the last he, he talked to Chapenda and he and, and he says he couldn't he couldn't come tonight. So if you if you have something else, okay. If not, we'll adjourn the meeting because I don't have anything else to report now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So all I know is uh, it's going to be during the daytime on the November sixth. I think they're trying to put together an exact order of uh, speakers. For the day, uh, consulate uh, Indian Consul General will be there um, as one of the speakers, and um, we will. Uh, as soon as we have uh, the uh, program details, uh, I can email it to you, Gary, and then you can share it with the okay. members. Okay, yeah, that would be helpful, Ram. If there is something that uh, you can share with the members, that'd be great too. I would yeah. like to okay. send that out to because the because we don't have because we as I, as I said. We do not have an HRC meeting in November. Our next meeting is a December eighth. Um, okay, I also want to. I also want to say on November sixth in the evening, um, what we are going, trying to do is uh, the gazebo. We are going to have brand new lights with LED lights, color changing lights, programmable, and we are going to inaugur inaugurate that uh, new lighting system at the gazebo. Uh, to coincide with the Festival of Lights, Diwali. Awesome. Okay. And, and Ram, I mentioned that uh, you and I were in contact and, uh, you know, when we have the things available, some information we can share with the interface group. And I plan to be there to, uh, you know, provide it. Uh, there's no major conflict. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, if there's nothing else, uh, I will accept a, a, a motion to adjourn the meeting. Uh, I want everyone to have a happy uh, Thanksgiving, and our uh, next uh, meeting is December 8th. And as I said before, hopefully at the beginning of the year, we can begin uh, a meeting in person, I hope. So uh, I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting, I'll Gary. I'll second. Good night, everybody. Okay. Thank you all.